بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Okay the next thing we'll try to see the configuration of the trunk links now to verify this lab i'm going to do, go with the basic pre configurations now the basic pre configurations are like i do have two switches uh, connected to each other and then i'm going to assign port number 1 and 2 in the vlan 10 you can see the red ones uh, red one belongs to vlan 10 on both the switches of course different ports and you can see the green ones belongs to vlan 20 here port number 3 and 4 port number 3 and 4 here so my requirement is i want the users of the vlan 10 should talk to vlan 10 on the other side of the switch and that is only possible when you configure the link connecting between the switches as a trunk link so we'll try to verify the communication before and then also we'll verify afterwards so the prerequisite will be doing here is creating the vlans and assigning the ports so we know how to do this probably when i load the topology you do have this pre configurations enabled so we'll create this vlans 10 and 20 we know how to do that we already did that in our previous classes and then we'll be assigning port number 1 and 2 on both the switches this is on switch 1 and this is on switch 2 and port number 3 and 4 in the vlan uh, 20 so let me see if i have this topology already pre configured in my packet tracer so already open up here so i do have this uh, vlan 10 and 20 here i use different colors for easy identification and they are connecting on 1 2 3 4 1 2 of course you don't see the ports clearly here but it's based on that now if i go and verify the configurations here i do have the ips configured here so i don't need to do anything if i go and verify the ip addresses i do have an ip address of uh 192.168.1.1 1.2 1.3 1.4 exactly the same ips uh, what you can see in my topology so i'll go to one of the pc and before that let me see if the pre configurations are already done if not i'll i'll try to verify and you can see here port number 1 and 2 are already pre configured in the vlan 10 and port number 3 and 4 in the vlan 20 and let me see if the trunk links i don't have any trunk links so fine and then if i go to switch 2 on the switch 2 also i'll try to verify whether the vlan 10 and 20 are already pre configured you can see vlan 10 port number 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 so roughly it can be any ports i'm just using a simple example here now our requirement is the 1.1 pc this is 1.1 pc should be able to communicate with 1.3 and 1.4 of course it can communicate with 1.2 within the same switch so let me just quickly verify i do have ips pre configured here on all the pcs as per my topology because you know how to do this stuff so basically there's no point in going and doing and during the class generally so this is ip here and if i try to ping to my 192.168.1.2 so 1.2 i can ping because the reason is simple because these two ports port number 1 and 2 in the same vlan vlan 10 and of course they are in the same subnet so communication is possible but if i try to communicate with 1.3 i should not be able to reach so if i try to ping from 1 1.1 to 1.3 or 1.4 the ping is not going to work and the reason is this particular port belongs to vlan 1 by default right and this is not a trunk link right So either you have to assign this port in the VLAN 10. Again, VLAN 20 is not going to work in that case, right? So that is one thing. And if I try to do the same thing between other VLANs, also the same result. You can try with 2.1 to 2.3 or 2.4. So the users of the same VLAN on different switches will not communicate unless you configure this link. You remove this from the VLAN one and configure that as a trunk link. so this is like the prerequisite verification so what we'll be doing is in order for communication to work we need to configure the trunk link so i'm connecting port number 20 you can use any ports it's up to you and you can see here i'm connecting port number 20 which is between switch to switch you can use any port 21 22 23 24 or any key ethernet ports so i'm connecting port number 20 here we need to configure this port number 20 as a trunk link now to configure the trunk link we need to add this commands here 
So we'll go to interface, interface type. So type is fast Ethernet here. It can be gig Ethernet also or 10 gig Ethernet interface. So I'm saying fast Ethernet and what is the number? Number is 0 by 20. So in short, I can write as interface F0 by 20. That is something we can write in shortcut. Or you can type the complete full command. Now, once I go to the interface, I'm inside this interface. So whatever the commands I'm going to configure here, it is going to apply only to port number 20. So I need to say this port number 20 is a trunk port and we configure with this command. So I'm saying switch port mode trunk. If you remember, we said access previously. When we go to port number one and two, we are saying access, which means this belongs to VLAN 10 and it is an access port, which carries only one VLAN traffic or just one VLAN it belongs to. But this time I'm not saying access. I'm going to say that this port is a trunk link, which means this link is going to carry the multiple VLAN traffic on this link. And it is going to do tagging automatically when it is sending a frame. So if you don't say the link as a trunk link, it will not be able to carry multiple VLANs and tagging also will not work. And then you need to decide which encapsulation you want to use, whether you want to use the ISL protocol for tagging or you want to use dot one Q. In most of the switches, this command may not work. Uh, basically in the packet tracer also when you are verifying in, in some switches, you know, it, it doesn't accept this command which means by default it supports only dot one q which means isl is not supported so if it supports both then basically you can need to specify uh, i'm going to use dot one q and even if you don't do dot one q uh, even if i don't define the dot one q encapsulation the default it takes dot one q only so which means the frame tagging process is done with the help of dot one q and the format of the ethernet will be based on the vlan tag based on dot one q protocol so we need to go on both the switches, the same command, interface F0 by 20, uh, switch port mode trunk, and then which encapsulation you want to use. And for verification, how many trunk ports we have, we can verify that show interface trunk, then it will show you the mode. Mode is like on, on means it's a manual trunk mode. And then the encapsulation, what it is using, dot one q or ISL, and the status, it is a trunk port. So we'll talk about native VLANs later on in a separate section. So the link connecting between the switch to switch, as I said, port number 20 I'm using, you can use either port number 2020 or port number 2024, doesn't matter. So as long as, you know, uh, you have a proper connection, it, it's not going to make any difference. So let's try to verify. So we did some basic verifications uh, previously. When I tried to communicate between 1.1 and 1.3, it was not working. But once I configure the link as a trunk link, that should start working, right? So I connected port number uh, port number 20 to 20. So basically I'm using a cross cable, but generally you can use any cable for working. So we'll simply go and say interface F0 by 20, switch port mode trunk. Of course you can say trunk encapsulation command is not working here, but it's okay. Likewise, I need to go to the switch to also, I had to say interface 0 by 20 I'm going to say switch port mode trunk so on both the sides I have configured the trunk port so if you want to verify the trunk ports we can use a command called show interface trunk so when I say show interface trunk you will see these options here basically this is this is going to tell that you know this particular port is a trunk using dot one q encapsulation of course by default all the VLANs are allowed uh, we can optimize this basically later on Okay, and what are the VLANs we are using? So basically there are only three VLANs used, 10, 20, and one, which are configured here. Again, spanning tree, these options will be seen in the later on classes. Now we can verify the reachability now. Now if I go and verify the reachability, previously I was not able to communicate with 1.3. So now if I generate a ping request from 1.1 to 1.3, this is going to work. Similar way, I should also be able to reach 1.4, the other PC. And also, if I try to reach from this PC, 2.1, which belongs to VLAN 20, right? And I should be able to reach 2.3. 2.3 is actually the PC somewhere. 
this is 2.1 and 2.3 which belongs to vlan vlan 20 here likewise you can add any number of vlan so basically it doesn't matter whether you have two vlans or 20 vlans so one single link trunk, trunk link will be sufficient but of course in the production scenarios we connect multiple links for redundancy purpose and and also we'll talk about this redundancy more in details when we get into spanning tree protocol options